Hey, how's it going guys? This is Triceradrops. Today I got some Battleborn footage for all of you to enjoy. So this is from the open beta that happened on April 14th to 8th through the 18th. Played a lot of it. What you're gonna see is the Meltdown game mode. I'll let the game explain it to you and then I'll be right back. Alright, so listen to this, check it out, and I'll be right back in a minute. Meltdown. Earn points by guiding your minions to designated incinerators and destroy enemy minions before they reach their own. The bigger the minion, the more points you'll earn by sacrificing it. And the the first team to reach 500 points achieves victory. <laughs> the other guys will be killed! <laughs> I just had to leave that laugh in there. I think it's excellent. So now you know what the game mode is, how it works, and it I think every game needs something like this where it tells you what you need to do and how to win because a lot of players don't get it. And even with that, a lot of people were like, eh, I don't, I don't know how to do this. Now in the beginning, since not much goes on, I'm going to tell you what the team comps are, who the players are, and that first ability I chose at the very, very beginning when I had that helix up. First, the team compositions. My team, I am playing Phoebe. She is a melee character uses a sword and has like one range attack. Um, my teammates are playing Orendi, which is that mage thing with like the eight arms. The tank is Isaac, which is a head robot. The head robot. The robot that's just a floating head in it. I got Miko, which is the healer, and we've got Marquis, which is our sniper. So Marquis and I are the damage dealer. Everybody else has their own role. Isaac being the tank, Miko being the healer, and Orendi being the wave clear. The enemy team is composed of an Isaac, their tank, a Wrath, which is their DPS, kind of like I am. They got Oscar Mike, which is another DPS, Miko, and they have an Orendi. With that out of the way, let's talk about Phoebe's skills. First skill is your basic attack. It's five virtues. She just pokes away five times at the enemy in front of her. Her second attack is your right click, which is true strike. She basically slashes in front of her, propelling herself forward, dealing decent amount of damage. Phase Gate is one of her other attacks. This one just basically teleports her to a targeted location. Blade Rush is Phoebe's only range attack. She just launches her rapiers over at the enemy, doing a decent amount of damage. And her ultimate move, Blade Cascade, basically makes it rain swords, dealing massive amounts of damage in a large AoE. So you just saw me take out their Isaac. Now I start working on their Rendi, who's out of position. Wrath comes out, tries to take me out. I start poking away at him. He's moving away. I'm chasing. He's almost dead. That's Blade Rush that missed. Phase gate in and he is gone. I don't know where he is. He got away. That bastard died and he actually managed to die somehow. One way or another somebody got him. Which is awesome. Now let's talk about the helix. The helix is how you choose your skills. Right, so she's got two ways to go down her helix like everybody else does. It's the march of science which is more of a defensive approach. And you have the art of combat which is where the damage is done, the CC is taken. And I see Isaac over here rushing forward and immediately go for him. Early game, Phoebe is really, really good. She's probably one of the best. Of all that game, she's excellent too. Unfortunately, I don't have enough to do this turret, which would have helped me take out Isaac. And my HP is dropping, so I'm running, getting the hell out of there because it's not worth the death. There's Phase Gate again, saving me, using it defensively instead of offensively. But you'll see different things will happen throughout the course of the game, which leads you to use Phase Gate different ways. Now, very important. You always want to go back when you're low on health to regain health because it's not worth dying. You'll be dead a lot longer than you would if you would teleport back and run. I'm trying to choose at this point, where should I go? Phase distortion or shield restoration? So phase distortion basically slows the enemy. Shield restoration, once I use phase gate, it automatically starts recharging my shield. I care more about killing right now because I have a Miko, so I'm not worried about my shield. I know that if I need him, I'll be there. Wrath goes down. I teleport to their Miko. Immediately start working on their healer. Get that healer out. You gotta take him out as soon as you can. Now he's marked. He's silenced. He can't heal himself. And he's down. He's dead. So that's what Phoebe's True Strike does. I'm sorry. It's not two True Strikes. It's Blade Rush. If you hit the enemy with Blade Rush after five of your five virtues, they will silence them. Now here we go. There is Oscar Mike, and I start working on him. I face get right to him so he can't run away. He can go invisible. He runs away. I lose track of him. I'm almost dead, and Wrath. Wrath actually kills me. 
Oscar Mike did most of the damage. Wrath took me down. So I'm two kills, one death, two assists. Really good. Really fun. And here we go. With the currency you collect throughout the map, if you notice uh, the ruby thing I have down by my portrait, it's basically you can either do buildables, which give you EXP, or equip an item, which makes you stronger. So it's you have to make a decision there. Do you want to be stronger early game, or do you want to have turrets all over the place, stopping the minions from going forward? Remember, the objective is to make sure you, the minions don't get fed into the friendly mouth grinder thing and to make sure that your minions get fed into the enemy mouth grinder so just make sure you play that objective it's very important to win the game getting killed is fun and dandy and everything and if that's your function as a character it's what you do here we go a face get right into oscar mike and miko i start working i'm trying to get miko oscar mike is actually blocking me doing a good job they get an assist on miko i get the assist on miko i'm sorry and then i get the kill on oscar mike very few characters can work on two like phoebe can Okay, both Phoebe and Wrath are really good 2v1 because just the way their kit is built. Okay, it's not that they have a lot of defense, it's that I can silence somebody, then they can't use their skills. And Wrath can toss them in the air and they're kind of, you know, at that point they can't really do anything. Here you go, face gate again, right into trying to get the Isaac actually, I just lose track of them. And then I find the Arendi and I start working on Arendi. That move is Arendi's like, it's like a flashbang, she just moves back and you're blind. So now, taking out the Arendi, uh, she decided she wanted to face both Armiko, our Arendi, and me. I, I mean, I guess I came in at the right time. There's her Isaac again. I finally found him. And our whole team is together. Our whole team is completely together. We are taking out the minions. We are prioritizing them over the Isaac and over the, over the actual enemy team. Because that's just how I have to do it. Wrath over there harassing our minions. I try to take him out with Phase Gate, get to him. But fortunately, Miko runs right in front of me. Like, he decides he wants to heal Wrath and keeps running with Wrath. My phase gate put me in between both of them, giving me the chance to kill Miko. With Phoebe, phase gate is very important. You don't want to use it too much, but you also want to use it at the right time. Because if it's on cooldown where you're trying to run away, you're going to get yourself killed. I mean, it's happened to me. And again, there's the bad use of phase gate. I just used it to slow down Isaac so he wouldn't run away. And he just disappeared. Like, I don't know where he goes. I guess he has a move like Phase Gate. I, I didn't get to play him on the beta, unfortunately. But something I'm definitely going to do is I'm going to play him because this is the kind of game you have to actually play each character. I go down thanks to that hidden Arendi that I decided not to chase because I was about to die. But yes, it's like I was saying, this game is one game where you have to get to know all the characters. Okay, I'm, I'm actually behind in levels in my team. This is why I'm opening the scoreboard so much. I want to make sure that our levels are comparable to the enemy team. So I don't have to go around like a maniac building stuff. I constantly look at that, constantly make sure that scoreboard, if I'm ahead on levels, I will actually spend my currency on gear instead of uh, building like turrets and stuff because I, I will increase my damage and my level will be up kept. The, the idea is I don't want them, specifically in the beginning, I don't want them to get their ultimate before we do. Once that happens, like an any MOBA, they're gonna start like beating our butts. In this case, I did get the equipment because notice how much currency I had. That's ridiculous amount. So I went for movement speed. I don't recommend this build. This is just actually the items I had at this point in time. The best items that fit Phoebe. But unfortunately, well, not unfortunately. Fortunately, later on, I actually got pretty good items. So that's Orendi's little fire pillar thing. Which is really cool when I put my my video up on Arendi. You guys are going to see she can actually cast two. And that's just like, it destroys stuff. Miko is actually keeping our Arendi up fighting the other one. I phase gate behind the other Arendi. Like completely, not quite catch her off guard. But catch her with her pants down a little bit. That that was hitting me was not a character. It was actually a turret. Which is, I mean, I, that was a risky play. You don't want to go that deep into enemy territory alone. Especially as a damage dealer. You don't deal that much damage. Catching Wrath. With the corner of my eye, I push in. Wrath actually knocks us both up. I silence him so he can't use another skill. I start poking away at him. And phase gate over to him. Keep working on him. Going a little too deep. A little too deep, but he turns around and actually get him. Leveling up to level 5, getting Blade Cascade, which is my ultimate, unlocked. Now, I can focus more on building my equipment. Rather than just trying to level up as fast as I can. Uh, in this case, I get reprise 
under the Art of Combat tree, you see here, it adds another attack that gives me plus 40% on that second attack. So see, I did two moves there. That was a move, the second poke. So the slash and poke. The second poke is the, the attack that does extra 40% damage. I check to see if I can have any range getting that. Wrath misses his attack. I phase gate to him to body block him so he can't get away. But somehow, either I got moved or he moved me. I go ahead and use my ultimate, taking him out. The ultimate hasn't even started yet, by the way. There it is in the background. And of course, the taunt. The taunt is... It's, it's all about taunting. It's all about letting them know. <laughs> so it, this is what makes this game great. Okay, it's the sense of humor. Um, actually, I really enjoy that about this game. Oh, there's Arendi. Arendi's actually hitting me. So when you see the direction they're hitting you from, when, when they hit you, you see a little marker on your screen. If it's blue, that means they're depleting your shield. If it's red, that means they're hitting your health. Face getting to Arendi. She letting her basically get away. She was smart enough to go around her team, silencing her so she can't use any move on her Miko. Now she moves back, works on her turret. However, she is actually kind of deep. She went towards me as Phoebe. I deal so much damage. So much damage that already won't be able to put me off. Now here's Wrath. Wrath decides to take on her turret. That's a good job. That's, that's, I mean, that's the right move. But get out, man. You need to get out. You can't just stay there. Because, see, now Isaac comes along. Both Isaac and I, you have no chance. You have no chance. Which is... I mean... Think about your plays before you commit to them. This is when I, in my uh, Overwatch v Battleborn video, this is what I said. Your positioning... This is what I meant, I'm sorry, by saying your positioning is very important in this game. Having the ability to get in and out as a melee character is very important. Wrath, his mobility suffers compared to uh, somebody like Phoebe, okay? Wrath doesn't have phase gate. Phase gate is probably going to prove to be really, really useful in a more competitive game. And you can use it in so many ways, getting behind enemy lines, uh, getting two enemies, slowing them down, increasing your speed, recharging your your uh, your shield. And look, this is one of the problems we had with the uh, beta. People would just leave. I don't know if that's a disconnect. I don't remember. But it, I know it got to the point where people were just leaving when they knew they were going to lose. Which, again, it's it's a beta. If it's a disconnect, it's a beta. If it's the people leaving, then either A, they don't like the game, or B, they just, they're just upset they're losing. And I mean, that's that's no fun. Here we go, teleporting to the Miko, who's actually healing the uh, Oscar Mike, I'm going to think of his name. Using the ultimate, try to get some distance from them, because they're going to kill me if I stay back. I, I actually get the assist. Somebody got him over there. I think it was a Rendy. I got the, uh, the Miko. Oscar Mike makes the conscious choice to follow me. Which I think is a mistake after I like poke the crap out of him. There's no need to chase. This is this is not really a game about kills. Even if your job as a DPS is to get killed. Look, look, this just screws Oscar Mike over. Instead of going back and healing, he decides to stay. Go back, heal. You just gave me level 7 for free. And you gave that a Rendy an assist. An assist. Which probably gained her a level. So that's, I mean, be smart about it. Play it more like a MOBA than you would a shooter. Obviously, as far as strategy goes, you know, go in, push. If you push too deep, get out. Look, look at Wrath. Wrath decides to come in on three of us. He's got Miko healing him. I just ult because I don't want, I want him to build space away from Miko. So the healing beam doesn't heal him too much. Our Miko's smart enough to heal us. Their Miko's running away. That Mushroom Man on the ground was actually Armiko's ultimate that heals everybody in an AoE, which is, it heals them a lot too. See that, that one right there. But yeah, be smart in the way you play it. Don't just rush head in, head first. That's, I mean, you shouldn't do that at any shooter, unless it's like Doom or Halo. But be smart in the way you play the game. Play it more strategic, still push as deep as you can. And then when you get to the point where you think you're overextended, you know because nobody's there. <laughs> like, you'll know, the whole team is gone. Pull back. Okay, if you're not a tank, get the hell out of it. And here we go. Seeing the Oscar Mike with the Miko again. Going, and I ignore Oscar Mike. I hit him a couple times and he goes straight for the Miko. The Miko can't really heal himself. He heals himself by healing others. And I take Miko down. I start working Oscar Mike immediately. I'm low on health as it is. Oscar Mike is about to kill me. He takes me down. I get the assist for the friendly kill, and I don't know who killed. So far I'm 12 kills, 3 deaths, 9 objectives played, 
and nine minion kills. Didn't kill that many that many minions this round because my roll, I saw that our team was getting far ahead, and there's the win by the way, guys. I saw our team was getting far ahead, so I decided to go ahead and be the slayer. So again, guys, thanks for watching. This was Battleborn. That was BB. I have a few more videos on that, and this is a 500 to 127 victory. I have losses. Those are good too. So. You know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, whatever you got. And I will talk to you guys on the next one. Peace out.